My father was a, a reporter and he always wanted to be a writer. And I remember the first time he took me to the library, I was about, he'd probably taken me before, but I remember when I was about six and he took me in there and got me my own library card. And I felt like he had given me the uh, key to the world. And um, he, he would let me go to the adult section instead of the juvenile. <laughs> Uh, the, we used to, and back in those days we had the bookmobile and it would come to our little small community and every Saturday I couldn't wait to get to the library, uh, to the bookmobile and get my, get my library books. Um, well, I should probably say my mother or my father since they're both librarians. <laughs> no, they, went, they, went, they were teachers and they went to library school and got their library degree so they could work in libraries. Our library is okay. Uh, it's doing all right. It's really the only library in the area, so we're, we're kind of safe on that. But it really is alarming uh, what's happening with libraries, and I'm, it, it, I am very concerned because it's who's going to limit is the people that really need the library services. Generally, it's research um, and uh, audiobooks. I like a lot of audiobooks, and it, it's great to grab those at the library. Well, I've been told that this is the year of the cowboy. Apparently, cowboys are supposed to take over vampires this year. So I just happen to be lucky that I have three cowboy books out this year. And it's set in my hometown of uh, Weatherford, Texas. I've changed the name to Jubilee to protect the guilty. <laughs> and it's about cutting horse cowboys. It's a new series.